All right, guys, so the goal today was to get the brackets on the back so we can get the bumper to see how it fits. And from there, we can see what else we can get done. I'll show you guys how we get it done. All right, so the plan for today is to try to get this cleaned up. I wanna see if I can get my uh, tabs that I took over here and make to get these angles mounted here. So we four of those. I'm gonna basically drill these out. I'm gonna put in rib nuts. Uh, these are all rotted out. So I'm just gonna drill them out, put in rib nuts, get this cut off. And that way, this way, if you guys remember on the stock one, there's a black piece of metal right here that your bumper actually sits on. So the goal is to put these in its place and then uh, mock up the rear bumper to see how it fits. So what I was trying to avoid was this. This one, trying to grind it out, it just took the whole bolt. As you remember, these were posts that that thing sat on. <sighs> now these are centered. So I found out that these are seven inches and I'm guessing, judging by the gap, it's probably like 16 inches to the outside. Or I mean, um, 18. But, so I pre-drilled these, I'm gonna put rib nuts in here, get rid of the rusted threads, and this one was also broken off, just like this one, just a lot easier to clean up. Now the options I have here are cut this out and get a piece welded in, or avoid that, move it over. But what I think I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get these three mounted on, get the brackets on, and then test fit the bumper real quick just to see if there's enough lip here, if I were to move this over.
So the brackets do work. This one actually wasn't even touching. But it looks like these two on the outside I'm gonna have to trim. Grind away a little bit of the tip. And it looks like, as per the bumper, I can just move this one over here. And then completely negate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another one right next to it. Then I still have four. I might even have a fifth. So, because all of this has to come out. I believe it's from right here at this notch. Down, it's coming out, so I'm gonna lose the bottom tie-ins for the bumper. So when I put the cage in for the fuel cell, I'm gonna have to build a couple brackets to come down and just that way I can tie the bumper in. And the good news is doing it that way, I might be able to get away with building a diffuser. But basically, I'm gonna be notching off to these. The other thing I have to look at is I might just be adding a piece of flat bar. Because that bumper does not have much clearance between this and the actual bumper. Alright. Now that I've tried to fit the, the bumper on, that it'll work with these brackets, I do need to add another one. So I'm just going to measure down and move it over. Um, the aftermarket bumper does not have designated slots or spots or anything yet, so it's just a flat bar. So, I can mount these wherever I want to. Yes, Harper? I don't know. I never played this one before, so I don't know if I want to get rid of it or not get rid of it. I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Do you want to play a, a puppy patrol game? I never played it. So play it. Amazon with your thermos. It's like, I'm going to order another bag of M6 rib nuts. So as you can tell, we got the bumper to sit on there, we got the brackets on, took some drilling, put the rib nuts in. Uh, I'm going to be trying to piecemeal together some video of getting the fuel tank and the EVAP system out. As you guys know, the, the GoPro does, deleted it, as it did five times to try to make this one. But next up is going to be definitely wiring loom. we got to finish getting that all poked up and cleaned up and 
clamped up and out of the way. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.